History of Online Surveys Online surveys were first used beginning in 1987. Their popularity and use has increased as internet accessibility and prevalence has increased. Who uses online surveys? Online surveys have become popular in many areas of research. Many online surveys measure levels of satisfaction with a product, event, or service. Typical online surveys, customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, educational surveys, product satisfaction, market research, healthcare, event planning, nonprofits. Advantages of online surveys. Wide distribution. The majority of the U.S. population has access to the internet and email. Surveys can be sent and completed easily by people all over the world. Ease for participants. Participants can complete surveys at a time convenient for them, not the researcher. Participants can complete surveys in their own homes, at work, etc. Ease of online surveys enables a faster response time from participants. Automatic data sorting and analysis. Responses are automatically entered and stored on a computer program. Saves time and energy for researcher. Anonymous. Respondents can be completely anonymous online. No physical contact with researcher. Respondents to email surveys can be anonymous if they use a different method to return the survey, such as printing out the survey, removing identifiable information, and returning the completed survey via postal mail or fax. Many email surveys can be made anonymous by using a link in the email to the survey, so the participant does not respond from their email account. Cost effective. Save money on postage, interviewers, printing, and data input. Disadvantages of online surveys. Self-reporting. Online surveys are completed without an interviewer or researcher present, so the participant must complete the survey on their own. Response rate. The response rate for online surveys has been decreasing. There's no way to ensure participants complete surveys. Often people find online surveys a nuisance or think that they are an advertisement and therefore ignore the survey and refuse to participate. Repetition of participants. Depending on the type of survey utilized, email only versus offered to every visitor of a website, the same person may answer the survey more than once. Sample and generalizability. Population and sample limited to those with computer and internet access. It's difficult to ensure a representative population sample with online surveys. If the sample is not representative of the populations, the findings cannot be generalized to the population as a whole. of using online surveys for data collection. What I want to show you are two different surveys I'm currently collecting data on in the field of recreation at my athletic club. Each survey uses a different online survey provider and each is targeted toward one of my two areas of management at the athletic club. Uh, one is the staff and the other is the members. Okay, so here we go. My employee survey was done through SurveyMonkey which is a website that offers a free program plus tiered levels of paid services. When respondents see the survey will be called Do You Like Music? And it was designed to get the opinion of my management team on whether we should return music to our fitness floor or not. So I only have one question posed. And I have options here on several different ways to ask my question. I also have options to make questions mandatory, have blank fields for participants to fill in, 
submit more than one answer, etc. It's either a web link, embedded in email, embedded in a website, or I can share it on Facebook. Once I collect the responses, I go to analyze results. My member survey was done through our web host for more powerful options and a cleaner look since we are paying for the service. Respondent would see, here's a professional looking e-bulletin that they would get from me, general manager of Almaden Valley Athletic Club, logo, and then a cool picture of spinning bikes so they know I'm legit. I sent this survey to more than 6,000 people and have over 200 responses so far. By clicking on question summary, I instantly get the statistics of my three questions. What I find is a typical bell curve of customer satisfaction on my set. When I decide scale. to share this information with my staff, I would need to export the data into a more convenient format. To do that, I simply click export results. So thanks for taking a minute to look at all my examples. Now enjoy some more classical music and learn about the journal article Sarah and I studied.